Everyone, welcome back to Call of Cthulhu: Dark Corners of the Earth. I looked up a walkthrough on how to defeat him, and it turns out you do have to kill him, as you just saw. The tactic is to hide behind the chair while he's doing his thing. Wait till he's done casting a spell, where he kind of tries to lift you up into the air, and then he pauses for a second and then stab him in the face. I did that twice, and that's all I needed to kill him. Okay, I know I hit him many more times than that before. But I guess if you don't do it at that exact moment, or maybe if you just don't hit him in the head, in the face, it just doesn't even really matter. I don't even freaking know. Whatever. It's done. Okay. Check out his briefcase in a minute. Let me gather up all this ammo and health and heal myself. I'm probably hurt. Actually, I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. Well, I'm physically perfectly fine. Obviously, mentally, I'm totally fucked. Nothing of interest here. Alright, what's in here? A key and a book. Okay, well the key obviously will let me out of here. What is a book? Mythos, tomes, and manuscripts? Nope. Collection of general evidence? Wait, is it a separate item? Mmm, they can't be this, right? I have no idea how I've made it this far. In fact, I'm no longer certain where this far is. I never read this. I never read this. Okay, um, yeah, let me read this. At least I don't remember reading this. The Dark Depths. Morning. I have no idea how I've made it this far. In fact, I'm no longer certain where this far is, or if it even exists outside my imagination. Every step I take, I question what I see and hear. There's some kind of song traveling on the wind. Like so much else, it seems familiar, and yet it fills me with such dread. I can't believe anything of this earth could make such a sound. I must be insane. Any sane person would have turned back by now. But I have passed that point. I have to see this through to the end. I have to know what has brought me here. If there's no answer to be found in this maze, I'll do what I can to assist the submarine in blowing this whole place to hell. If there's no answer to this disease of my mind, if I can't find a way to understand what's happening to me, then I'm better off dead, buried beneath the sea forever. Book of Dagon, okay, I... I already had that, did I not? Am I missing something? What did I pick up? I picked up a book. Right? I'm not losing my mind. I picked up a book. I already had the Book of Dagon, and it doesn't appear to show up under here. It certainly wasn't my diary. Was it? I don't think so. That wouldn't make any sense, would it? Okay, whatever. Oh, key to the laboratory! Okay, that is my next stop, if I can remember how to get back there. Alright, where does this come out? I hear someone. Just move along here. What's over here? No, oh, there's a submarine. like a creepy biological maw of death. Ooh, ammo. Sure could use a weapon. It's an ancient statue of Cthulhu. Well, this looks... ominous. <gasps> oh! 
Oh my god. Okay. The doorway is sealed by some mystical force. I hear chanting behind it. Alright, well this changes everything. Alright, I have 30 shots. <laughs> Time to go on a rampage. Hopefully these guys don't respawn. Oh shit, reload, reload. Reload. Let's see if I can no-scope him. Nope. Stop moving, Jesus. Okay. Where's the center of this weapon, actually? If I am right at the right of that doorway. I was actually barely to the left of the weapon. Hmm. Alright. This just got about a hundred times easier. It won't budge. It's a statue of Hydra. Good old Hydra. God, you know, wouldn't it suck if I had to fight Hydra? Hmm. That would be very inconvenient. Of course, that's not gonna happen, right? <laughs> Doors. Oh, hi. Did I... I just killed two with one shot. Holy shit, I didn't know this thing penetrated, and that guy didn't even care that two people just got shot. About 20 feet away from him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I could have just unbolted it. Hey, I like my tactic of shooting through the cracks, though. Nineteen shots, okay. Need to be careful with my shots. Alright. I don't remember where the... I don't remember where the laboratory is. Mm, I kind of wanted to see if I can knife him, but it's too dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where the laboratory is, but there's something down here. I remember that. Oh, yes. Another medkit. Okay, here's the laboratory. It's unlocked. And it can come in. Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. Ah, now I know where it is, and I know how to find it again. I hate that stock door opening sound effect, or just stock door moving sound effect. The re 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 That's as grating to me as the Wilhelm scream. Oh, this cute thing scared of me. I've never seen plant life like this before. I want one. Look at how cool it is. From their shape and texture, they look almost prehistoric. Yeah. It's kind of beautiful. Just think of all the interesting things you could do with it. Did have it hold like a... I don't know, just hold a bunch of stuff, you know? Like hold your cup of coffee and... Oh god, what did I just step in? It's not like I just stepped in gunk. Alright. So this is where research was being done, and I believe in the conversation I overheard between... Uh, was it Sebastian and Robert Marsh? Between two of the Marshes. Uh, apparently, the research going on here was being stopped by the guy I knifed in the face. 
Actually, I shouldn't even say guy. It's not a guy anymore. The thing I knifed in the face. It's not important. Mm. Lab notes of Esther Marsh. Blue Tinfiblia. Further observations. That's the plant that I have, by the way. The petals have some acidic properties, which are yet to be fully investigated. They're especially harmful to the beloved, beloved of Great Cthulhu, as tests with the prison tender's pet have shown. Prison tender's pet. That's got to be the thing behind the door. Yeah. Although exposure was strictly limited, considerable skin disfigurement resulted. Because of this, all laboratory samples are to be removed. However, I will keep the specimen in the garden for now. It promises to be a fruitful object for further study. A specimen in the garden. Okay, so that's what the thing is. Wait, so this is the prison tender's pet? Hmm. It's an interesting pet. It's kind of like a plant. Chemical weed killer. I don't have to use it on this thing, do I? Because I don't want to. I like it. I don't want to hurt it. They appear to be trying to cultivate new breeds of plant life. What's down here? Hmm. Let's check that out after we're finished here. Alright, so what can I do with this chemical weed killer? Maybe I could use that on the starfish thing? The starfish blockage? Oh my god. Most of these experiments seem to have been carried out on human. I'd rather not dwell on the purpose of this device. Yeah. It's a hook and a pile of blood beneath it. This must supply power to the light. Cursed! Uh, I'm cursed with this vile plague! Ah, oh, shit. Please, stranger, <coughs> I beg you, put me out of this misery. I need your help. I have to get into the temple. Uh, only those loyal to the order have access through the main doors. But there's an old passage, a passage that runs deep beneath the temple. Though I warn you now, outsider, tread cautiously. Uh, I've heard talk of ancient dwellers <coughs> playing in those dark depths. <coughs> Any evil from a forgotten time. This just keeps getting better. So how do I get down there? Explore the abandoned areas. <coughs> that is all I can tell you. Now, please, kill me and my pain. Ah, <sighs> poor you. He didn't even have. He didn't even have a name. His name was Experiment. Put me out of this misery. All right, all right, all right. Here. Oh, look, he's partially transformed. One human foot, one creature's foot. Okay. Kill me. Okay, just do it. It's better this way. He was not going to live. He was going to become that. Just a dead body. Death. Death is my only escape. Yeah, that didn't help my sanity. This must have been where they were developing the contagion. This to end. What, what the hell am I doing here? No, no. I can't think straight. What am I doing? Alright, let's see where this goes. I'm pretty sure I need to take the chemical weed killer to the starfish zone, though. I'm not certain, but I suspect. Oh, a chains, or a chain, a shackle, and blood. It's reassuring.
Oh, that's inside. Yeah, that's my stuff. Okay, so this is gonna take me to my stuff. Thank God. Anyone else? Nope, and the people down below are apparently deaf. Wait, do I have- how much ammo do I have? 11 shots. Nah, I'll hold off. No reason to shoot him. Alright, that'll take me down. Scout out the rest of this. What is this? Another well, living quarters. This one looks... Oh, hi. This one looks particularly, wow, corrupted and messed up. Is that gonna hurt me? There's some peculiar vegetation here. It doesn't look safe. Uh, I'm s Wait, I can climb this? That's why I kept getting stuck here. What? Apparently this is a ladder. Hmm. It doesn't look safe. No, it doesn't. Where does that go? Uh, weed killer? Okay. I mean, I was climbing it and they weren't hurting me, so... I don't know if I really needed to do that. Alright, that used it up, so I don't use that on the starfish. Um, hold on, let me get my equipment before I go exploring too much. just want to see what's around here first, though. Goes into a circle. Yeah. Oh, hi. And bye. Ooh. There is a hammer. I need that to get out the green crystal. I don't know what the green crystal's for, but I need it. All right, let's get my stuff. Let's get that hammer. Hammer time. And then... What else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, climb up the weird vine. That I killed with weed killer for no particular reason. Wasn't there something down here? Because there was something that had vision down here, right? Where is it? Hmm. Why well, do I feel like it's gonna come and try to eat my face as soon as I take my equipment? Alright. Well, I've got full ammo of everything else. Tommy gun? Uh, what did I just take? I just took a bucket of food? Prison food. It's just malodorous slop. Yuck. Oh, I can probably mix that with the plant and kill the thing. Okay, so I... It won't eat the plant, but it needs to be mixed with other food and it'll consume it. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Did something actually hear that? This weapon's terrible for that, but I hate the shotgun, so why not? Alright, fuck the fuck this. Oh god, what the hell? Where did you come from? Wait, what's in the room with the hammer? Wait, is the room with the hammer the thing that has the mini Cthulhu in it? I know it's not a mini Cthulhu, but I seriously have no idea what it is. Oh god, that sounds loud. It sounds like a giant. Anyone else? I hear footsteps. It won't budge. Alright, where was that hammer? It's locked. Not there. This is this was my cell. It won't budge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the hammer is in that cell with the thing. It won't open. Holy shit, the thing is loud, yeah. Okay. So plant and food. Eat up. Mmm. I 
kind of feel bad for it. God, this thing looks like it's made of stone. Bizarre. Okay. This hammer could come in useful. Yep. That'll be used for the crystal, which again, I don't know what that's for, but I'm obviously going to need it. And the crystal is around the waterfall place somewhere. So... Alright, um... Next step is to climb the weird vine, and then the step after that is to get the crystal, I think. After that, I have no idea. Hopefully something will come up. Alright. Where was that? Here it is. Like that one room that I found in the beginning of the game, except destroyed. This is definitely a portal. I've seen a room similar to this somewhere before. Yes, you have. Oh, wait, is this what the crystal's for? Yes, this is what the crystal's for. It doesn't work. Okay, so yes. Next step, find the crystal, and then come back here. I still need to get through the starfish, though. I don't know what I need for that. Could a weapon work? Just shoot him? Nah, that's not gonna work. Alright. Um, I need to get to the waterfall area, and I can get to the waterfall area by... What? I'm just gonna break my legs here. Ow. I think I literally broke my legs, actually. I hear the bones. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut to when I find the crystal. Alright, I have liberated the crystal from its rocky confines, and let's go shove it in. I don't exactly see this ending well. I mean, really, what good can come of this? I'm probably going to activate the portal and then be sucked to some horrible dimension. Here we go. That's definitely a portal. What could go wrong? Okay, that's... What the hell is that? Uh... This looks basically like the rest of the cave, but... The fuck is that? Which number do I use to access that? Five? Nope. Six, seven, eight, eight. What the hell? Does it have ammo? This thing is amazing! This thing is- this is a really freaking beautiful weapon, look at this thing! That is so cool, but what is it? And what do I use it for? It seems to have unlimited ammo. Okay. Well. 
I have to say, the way that I'm holding the weapon does not make any sense. I appear to be holding the entire weapon from the left side, which is bizarre. I like how it distorts your entire view when you shoot. I mean that, by the way, I'm not being sarcastic. It's like somehow, just by my using the weapon, I'm distorting space-time. Right. Well, I don't want to go down there. Where the heck does this go? Wait a minute. This is that place that I couldn't go up, but I could go down. Yeah, that's going to lead to that... Yeah, I know where that is. Okay, that's weird. The teleporter took me to somewhere very nearby. Why? Why would it take me there, of all places? Alright, let's go down here. Yeah, it's just the top of the waterfall. Uh, it's too dangerous. I need to find another way out. Alright, well, I'm going to take a guess and say that I can probably use this weapon to get through the starfish. I don't know, man. I think I can make it. What do you think? Okay, let's not try. Not worth it. Alright, I guess we can try this on the starfish. I mean, that's the only thing I can really think of to do with it. I think I hear people. Or things, rather. Which will, which will be nice, because now I can test this. Who just shot me? Nice. Let's try, try a shoot. Let's try a super shot. <laughs> this thing is awesome looking, and it sounds awesome, too. I missed. Good for saving ammo. Alright, back to the waterfall place. To get to the starfish. I should head to the starfish. Actually, does this shock water? It does! Alright, that should do the job. That should kill all of them, I think. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this looks safe. Oh, great. I can't get back. That was a very abrupt loading screen. The airfield time. Okay. Um, okay. Gigantic stone. Oh, wait a minute. That's one of those things I saw from the vision, right? It was used to seal in things. It was used to seal in stuff, and I'm going inside of it. Inside of the broken seal. Well. That's wonderful. 
I'm sure the seal wasn't used to keep in, like, any existential horrors, right? No. Not at all. Oh god, I remember this. <laughs> the hell are those marks? All right, I need to get to the other side. Got to make my way down. Oh, crap. Oh. Something tells me this is going to fall apart as I run, so let's go now. By the way, something might show up. Just, just saying, something might show up. Oh, an earthquake. That's great. That doesn't sound good. What could that be? Oh. It's a bit windy in here. I can't see shit. Like, I can't even move, it's too... Well, there goes my sanity. Oh my god. I think I can make it. I didn't make it. I, I couldn't I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, there's, there's something to the sides, right? Just wanna check that. Mm, no. Ow. I just broke my leg by falling like three feet. Legs aren't that brittle. Alright, let's see if I can get somewhere before my vision goes absolutely insane and I can't see anything. I can make that. Just don't look behind me. Bad idea. Where does this go? Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh my god. I think the wind's pushing me. Hmm. I think I just pissed it off. Oh my god. I have no idea if I can kill that. Oh my god. Stop making wind. Oh god, there's another one. The fuck are these things? Get away from me. What the hell do I do here? I don't even have time to do anything but shoot these to keep them from killing me. And I'm dead. What the hell? I don't have time to do anything. I can't even heal because then they're just gonna both be killing me at the same time. Oh my god. Once again, this game manages to be horrible and also amazing at the same time, because those are freaking weird creatures. And being attacked by horrible, strange creatures is really cool. Having to die again and again is not. Where can I go? It just seemed like a dead end. I'm guessing I just need to like run for my life while that's happening. Rather than fight them. I doubt I can kill them. I can try, but that didn't seem to work out. I could try normal weapons, but that's probably a very bad idea. I doubt that's going to do anything to them. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. This did go somewhere. But where else does it go? Oh my god. I 
can't see anything. Okay, just don't aggro them. I'm going stealth, okay? Actually, it's not stealth. I can't. I can't even fucking move. There we go. Oh, I can't continue because of the wind. Maybe I do need to kill them. Okay, you know what? I'm moving. I think I need to be in a better place. Yeah, somewhere with cover. Power this up, power this up. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, it worked, it worked. Okay. That did not work. I think I just temporarily um, put it out of existence. I think it just like switched to another dimension rather than actually die. Yeah, fuck off. Let's see if it comes back. Okay, heal, heal, heal. That was my chance. Take a drink. Mm. Mm. Okay, I did kill the other one, I think. Stop doing that. That thing is disgusting. Okay, boom! Okay, that should calm the winds. Maybe allowing me to continue, I hope. Oh, no! Okay, okay, I'm okay. Please tell me that's the last one of those. That really is brilliant creature design. I love it. This game has some of the strangest creatures. No, I'm getting pushed again. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not getting pushed. I'm getting stuck because I can... Cl okay. This is a ladder. I could have done that the whole time. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, we're going further down. Oh, never mind, we're going back up, okay. They're giving me an awful lot of medical kits. I can't imagine what that means. Oh, look, another medical kit. Hmm. I know exactly where I am. Oh, yes, I remember this. For this is one of the sections, or at least right before one of the sections, uh, or the section where I got permanently stuck and could not progress and I had to get the save game from someone that was just past this section. This is that section. Or rather, that section is inside of that building. Let's hope the unofficial patch fixed the problem with that. That was a disturbing bit of music. 
very disconcerting. It's a gong. Another medical kit. Oh, that's the fireplace. I was wondering what that noise was. At first it sounded like a thousand slithering worms or something. this? It's a shrine for worship. Hmm. It's a worship alcove? I guess. Oh, God. Alright, you know, screw this. Traditional weapons. Blow that away. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I like this better. One shot to the head, and they're dead. This is good for saving ammo, but the rifle is good for headshots. It's written in some kind of ancient language. I can now read some of the last passages. I'll write them down. I'll write them down? So, oh, hey. What's up? You know, I'm not going to waste my ammo on you. There we go. Mythos tombs? Yes, tablets of Dagon. These ancient tablets are written in the strange glyphs of the Deep Ones. They include the final passages that are missing from the translations in the Book of Dagon. They seem to be a prophecy. Further study would be needed to produce an exact translation, but the passage reads roughly as follows. And the time shall come when the stars are right, and lo, we shall rise up that which has been sunken. So shall lost Rylie, or whatever, be lifted from the deep, and the waters shall recede from its palaces. And the one who dreams shall be awakened, great Cthulhu shall arise, and fear and madness shall be upon the face of the world. Alright, so I think they're going to lift the city from the deep. And feared madness will be spread to the entire world. Alright, I don't think there's anything over there. Uh oh. Is that a burst? Are they gonna start coming out of the. the things? No, they're not. Okay, sounded like one of those earthquake things. This gong must be used as a call to worship. Come on, come on and pray! Oh, there's a medkit over there. <laughs> Hi, boss fight. I'm just gonna leave you there for now, okay? All right, cool. All right, can I do like a super gong or what? I don't remember what I do with this gong. Okay, that did something, obviously, because it made me deaf. Beyond that, it didn't appear to be very effective at doing anything other than... Oh, never mind. Now, why would I want to do that? So I can get them to come to the gong, okay. I don't remember how this works. Hi, okay. Yeah, 
Not surprisingly, I kind of lose my sanity looking at that thing. Yep. This is never gonna it's a little bit otherworldly, you know? Oh, hi! Oh my god, I can't see shit. Look the other way. Look the other way, just don't... Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I'll need to decipher it. According to the text, the doors can only be opened with an ancient chant spoken by someone in possession of a sacred charm. Uh, do I have a charm? No, I don't. The doorway is sealed by some mystical force. Just don't look at it. What's happening to me? There's no bomb here. Okay, remember there's something about like liquid or something and something coming down here and doing something here. Hi. Beyond that, I don't remember. Do I have any way of getting up there? No. Oh wait, I can get up here. Alright. Oh, I thought that was instructions. Apparently it's not. What did that do? Okay, that pissed it off. Yep, that is the thing that was making the calls. It looks like Hydra, I think. Was making the calls to signal the deep ones. Alright, so that's partially filling this up, but I need more. Hi. Oh, that's a save point. Uh, I guess only after it. <laughs> I just saw myself from its perspective. Oh my god, and I look very small. Now, how do I get to the other points? How do I get up there? Yeah, I can't do anything here. Alright, let me go back down. I feel like it's tied to this. But it doesn't seem to be. There's got to be some connection to the gong because I can interact with it. If I was to hit it with enough force, the sound would be deafening. Yes, it would. But why would I want to make myself deaf? Okay, why is this a good thing? Whispers.
Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, and that allows me to do something. I'm I've taken control of one of the deep ones. I've taken control of one of the deep ones. And there it is. Let's funnel them up here, shall we? Use up some of my crappy weapons here. I think I'm out of pistol ammo. Yeah, okay. No more pistol. Actually, I have one shot of the pistol. Start this baby up. I wonder who made this weapon. I just realized I need to be close to it. This one's already done. Ah, damn it, I can only do one at a time. Let's just go ahead and be the next one right now. Maybe I shouldn't. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad. Damn it, I almost got the next one. Wow, this thing actually penetrates through multiple enemies. Nice. Question is, once I get the last one, what's going to happen? I'm assuming the shield's going down, but then what do I do then? Can I actually attack myself? I wonder. Not gonna test it, though. Okay. Ow. I would really like to look behind me right now. Okay. Go. Okay. I'm assuming I can press the button now. Please, game, don't crash. I don't remember exactly where it crashed, but it's somewhere during this whole encounter. Probably right about now. No. Is there still one to do? No, they're all done.
Wow, for some reason, those particle effects on my face cause extreme lag. I go from like a 90 to like 30. Okay, what now? Hmm. I wonder if that needs to be lowered, but why? Let me do it again. Maybe there's something else I can do as one of the deep ones. Hmm. I didn't do it hard enough. There we go. That one should cause lasting hearing damage. What am I gonna do, though? Oh, God. Oh, duh. The water, right? Right? I needed to raise the water level up enough for this thing to work because it does shock damage, right? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I can't remember if I ever got that far when the game crashed, so I'm still not in the clear yet. Behuin and Kugna, Fanu Naemna, Bagliz Kafungin, Kathava Hell, Kulth Cthulhu Kafungni, Aya Rigazengaro, Aya Hydra. Oh, that leads to here. Yeah, this, I got the gun from right here. Uh, the, the rifle. Okay, so now I have a decorative gold disc adorned with jewels. And where do I put that? Decorative gold desk. Disc. Shit. Okay. This is. Hold on, hold on. Um, I need to pause it. <laughs> this is the escape sequence that I believe pretty, basically ends the game. Um, I'm trying to remember where to go. Uh, uh, I kind of remember where to go. Partially. I can't remember exactly what this gold disc jewel thing or whatever is for, but okay. Here's something really interesting about this end escape sequence that's actually kind of hilarious. This end escape sequence is incredibly buggy on modern computers. I remember when I played it, not having known any of the technical issues that the game had or anything like that. And there was no unofficial patch at the time. I remember I had to play through this escape sequence probably dozens of times to finally finish it. And... I'm not absolutely certain about this, but based on what I've read, I believe that the big problem that comes up with the send escape sequence on modern computers specifically, that didn't apply to older computers, is that the way the game tells time, the way the timer works in the game during this escape sequence, is I believe somehow tied to your frames per second. I think. 
it's, I believe it's tied in such a way that if you're getting a lot of frames per second, if you have a very high FPS, as you would on modern computers, that the game basically seems to think that more time is taking place than actually is. So what that means is that, since the place is coming down around you and it thinks everything is going way faster than it actually is, the triggers and the scripts and stuff that cause stuff to fall on your head happen way before they should, making the end escape sequence either extremely difficult or literally impossible. Because time is just going too fast, even though you don't actually walk faster or something like that. It's something like that. And I'm pretty sure it's like that, based on what I've heard, of people saying that they fixed the issue. Like, one person said they fixed the issue that they had with the end escape sequence by running 20, like 20 YouTube's video, YouTube videos and fraps at the same time to finally fix the end sequence, to kill their FPS enough to make it work. Which is hilarious. It's actually, it's, it's actually really funny. I don't know how you code a game so badly to somehow rely on FPS for time in an escape sequence. I, I don't get that. I don't know why you'd even want to do that, assuming that is what they did, which it sounds like it is. Um, but, the unofficial patch, one of the things you can do with it, there's a checkbox for double escape sequence time, which I checked by default and I recommend everyone does too. So that should give me double the time, plus the fact that I'm recording with Fraps reduces my FPS by quite a bit. So between those two things, I should be fine. The only problem is, can I remember where to go? Let's go and find out! Right, so I got rid of the protective bubble and the submarine was able to get through! Ow. <laughs> Should I stop to heal myself? Uh, no. I believe that is going to... Yep. Okay. Um... Um, where now? I think... Yeah, okay, they're blocking that off. Yeah, okay, so they're kind of leading me down where to go. Uh, this way. Gee, I can't imagine what rocks are going to fall, not the ones that look weirdly different from everything else, right? Oh, no, of course not. Oh, that's back where I was captured. Yeah. Uh, what is that floating... What is that floating blue thing? What the hell is that? Well, I don't have time to stop and admire it, so let's keep going. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, 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 oh. Um, do I need to use this? Come on, come on. Chant faster, chant faster, Jack Walters. This chant is barely enough to keep out the freezing cold winds. Come on. Okay. Take me out of here, please. Jack! How the? Oh my god! Is he okay? What the hell happened to him? Check his pulse. Jack! Can you hear me? Jack! Shadow Out of Time 3 Jack, why have you summoned me? There is something I must show you. We must hurry. Time is short. Where are we going? The Great Library. A terrible conflict. 
is upon us, and our hosts will not survive it. The keenest minds are already projecting to later days. Who will be the enemy? There have been no ructions with either the Migo in the north, or Cthulhu's kin to the south. In your wanderings, did you come upon the vast sealed trapdoors at the foundation of the old city? Yes, but I didn't understand their purpose. There was a terrible war between us and a race of half polypus creatures that had been dominant until our arrival. This volume tells of that bloody period. Why are you showing me this now? They are still down there, Jack. Thriving in the darkness. They are plotting. Plotting to break free of their bonds and wreak a terrible revenge. The end is inevitable. And close. Very close. How much time do we have? What the hell was that? You are no longer safe. Follow me. This is the end. Where am I supposed to go? It's time for you to go back. Back? Yes, back to your world. Before you leave, there is something more you need. What is this place? The human mind is too delicate a fabric for the return displacement. It could easily tear. Your memories of Nakotas must be clean. Will I remember nothing of this place? Six years of my life, and for nothing? When the time comes, you will remember. We will be waiting in the shadows of your dreams. These riddles make no sense. What was it I needed to know? Did you ever wonder about your visions? Nightmares. It came with the territory. Sometimes it helped with the cases. Bad dreams are never that accurate. You are different from the rest of your race, Jack. Your father could see it. Suicide was his escape from the truth. What's this got to do with him? He has been here too. He was displaced. Just moments before you were conceived. I was the transferred mind. What are you saying? That you were my father? Not entirely. You are not of our kind. But neither are you completely human.
Mr. Walters? Mr. Walters, can you hear me? Mr. Walters. Convulsing. We're losing him. Suicide note. February 16th, 1922. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself of what I am, and of what I have always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. And that is the end. And by the way, I would just like to um, get your attention to this mythos rank, rank D. Remember what I said: if you have a, if you, if you have a low sanity, if you have a fairly low sanity, if you didn't manage your sanity very well, and if you took a long time, you get a worse rank. So because of how much time I took, I went from A, B, C to D. Like I said, people who take their time in this game and actually look at stuff get terrible ratings. Rank D. I failed. If I had not checked the force the uh, force to see the full ending in the unofficial patch, the ending you would have seen would it might not have even included any of this included any of the stuff from the Yeth. It might have only been him killing himself, and that might have been it. I think it might have just chopped off the entire Yeth thing. It would have been shit. So yes, that's that is the incredibly stupid gameplay mechanic involving the end, where the lower your rank, the less of the ending you get to see. And the rank system actively encourages you not to experience the game. It's horrible. So I'm glad I chose that. See, I had medium blood loss, and my mental condition was clinically insane. Yeah. 51% accuracy. That's pretty damn good, actually. 1,378 shots. 708 of them hit. 218 enemy kills. 191 headshots. 68 saves. Drug abuse. Clean. Yeah, I never really used the morphine because I had no idea what it was freaking for. The game never told me, and I never needed it. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new difficulty setting. whoop de doo You have achieved a new high score. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Horns of the Earth, based on the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game from Chaosium Inc. inspired by the, worlds of, uh, the works of H.P. Lovecraft. Okay, well, let me do a wrap-up on this game. So, as I said before, before I started, I love this game. I have a lot of nostalgia associated with it. And that has not changed. It wasn't quite as epic as I remember it. Which didn't surprise me. Because memories tend to make things, you know, memory tends to make the good things seem better, and the bad things seem worse. And, uh, wow, I'm just I'm noticing that the team behind this game actually is pretty small. Those are all the animators. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. They really didn't have many people working on this game, did they? No. It's one hell of an accomplishment for a small team. Like a nine-hour game. Well, that's nine hours with me knowing what to do in many cases. It probably would have been more like 10 to 12 hours, I guess, for someone who has never played the game, I would imagine. Okay, like I was saying, yes, nostalgia tends to make the good things seem better, and the bad things seem worse. And that was definitely true. The epic things weren't quite as epic, and the stuff that I thought was bad wasn't actually, in some cases, in some cases at least, wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But still, I still love the game. Am I going to be kicked to the menu here? Yeah. 
Alright, I still totally adore this game. That has not changed. However, I, I can't ignore the fact that it has so many flaws. It does. It is a very flawed game. It is a... It's a... What would you say? A flawed diamond? A diamond in the rough? Is that, is that the right term? I don't think so. I'm just going to call it a beautiful mess. Because this game is a mess. But it's also really good. So let's start with the bad so I can end with the good, as always. Okay. Graphics are, of course, mediocre. I mean, it, came, it was an Xbox game. That is the original Xbox. So, not surprisingly, the PC version doesn't look too good. Doesn't seem to support widescreen... It, it allows you to select widescreen. Which may be because of the unofficial patch, I'm actually not sure. Um, but it actually stretches it, so it doesn't actually really natively support widescreen resolutions properly, it just stretches it. So that kind of blows. The game has a slew of horrible technical issues on modern computers that can only be fixed and band-aided around by using the unofficial patch. Which, thank God, that exists. Anyone playing this game seriously use the unofficial patch. You will not have a good game experience without it. Uh, voice acting is, in general, pretty mediocre. With some exceptions, actually. Okay, I mean... No one's horrible. I will say that. No one's horrible. The main character, which in any game should hopefully be the best acted, is actually kind of mediocre. He can be good sometimes, but then other times he says something like... What did he say? The fire is barely enough to keep out the freezing cold winds. Sometimes he sounds like that, which is hilariously bad. Uh, the other characters range from, ranged from very good to okay. However, I want to give special n notice to the... I, I'm not even sure if it's just voice acting. I want to say the voice acting of the creatures. Like the deep ones. And the people affected by the Innsmouth taint. You know, any, anyone who wasn't really quite human. I don't know... The thing is, though... Th they sounded really, really good. Like, I put it right up there with something like... Um, Thief 3. What was that called? Thief Deadly Shadows? The third thief, where a lot of the other races and stuff that you get to encounter, the other types of creatures other than humans, all have very distinctive and very well-executed voices. And that's the same. The same with Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. They all sound extremely creepy and weird and bizarre. And I don't want to know how they did it. I want to know, was it all voice acting, or is it some sort of, like, effect? Did they apply a bunch of effects to make them sound so weird? Because I can't imagine anyone actually voice acting to sound like the Deep Ones. The way they had that kind of, like, fishy voice. Just... Weird. You know, it sounded like they were talking, even though their anatomy had changed, to... In such a way that... Like, their throat was not exactly designed for talking anymore, you know? It's a very weird sort of talking voice sound, and it just sounds so good. Just the sound of all of the otherworldly creatures. And the infected, tainted people. Were ex they were exceptional. So I don't know if that's down to voice acting more, or more to effects. But yeah, special mention to that. Very, very good job with the otherworldly creature sounds. Their voices. Um, Alright, so yeah, what is that? Horrible technical issues, mediocre graphics, um, tons and tons of design flaws, endless sections where you have to, where things just don't make any sense, and there's dumb puzzles, and you have to beat your head against a wall, and you have to repeat sections again and again because the save point was way, way back. Like, seriously, some major design flaws. So much of this game is just so overly scripted, to the point where it's kind of like another world in some ways, as I mentioned during the playthrough, where it's kind of like another world in the sense that it's like the makers of the game imagined a scene playing out one specific way, and if you deviate from that at all, you just die or something. And, but they don't really communicate you clearly how they want you to play. It's like they expect you to do something in an exact way, in an exact way, but they don't actually communicate to you that you're supposed to do it that way. So very frustrating. Just lots of beating your head against a wall. Well, let's see, what else? The game's buggy as hell, in general. Remember the whole time when I was trying to save... What was it, Hoover? Yeah, when I was trying to save Hoover from being dunked in into the... 
Yeah, the I want to say lava. It's not really lava though. The molten gold, I think it was. And remember how I was stuck on, in a cutscene for the entire time that was happening? I was supposed to be killing the guy and saving him, but I was stuck in a cutscene and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> like what is that? The game's just really, really buggy. Let's see. Any more negative things? I think that's pretty much it for the negative stuff. Very buggy, horrible technical issues, mediocre graphics, horrible design flaws. Um, it focuses on action way too much. That definitely takes away from the horror. It, it becomes an action game and the enemies just aren't really interesting to fight all that much. Even though the gunplay is actually very good. They're just not really interesting to fight. Because they're so damn easy and their AI is so stupid. And and then, unfortunately, they have a, a big stealth section in the game, even though the stealth is horrible. So yeah, the whole game just feels like they kind of took a bunch of elements and tried to, like, jam it all together. They tried to make, like, this cinematic horror game, and it just isn't designed very well. It just doesn't work in many ways. Now, let's talk about the good, because there's a lot of good. Okay. The fact that it's based around uh, and uses the Cthulhu mythos, awesome. I love, love, love that. Even though I don't know much about the Cthulhu mythos, and I've never read any of H.P. Lovecraft's short stories or any of his stories. I think he mostly wrote short stories, right? Or entirely short stories? I'm not sure. That's how little I know about his work. But even though I'm unfamiliar with his work exactly, I, I just really like the Cthulhu mythos and the feeling of it. Just the feeling of otherworldly, existential horror that to even look upon causes you to become insane and that is literally what happens in the game you look upon something that is crazy and it makes you crazy i love that just the idea of something so incomprehensible and alien that it drives you insane is just i love it i really do love it so excellent setting uh, it's full of some of the most memorable memorable scenes that I've ever seen in games, even though the scenes often don't work very well, and they're overly scripted and stuff like that, like I just mentioned, they're still very memorable. Like, I'm never for gonna forget the time I fought that gigantic blobby eye thing that I had to shock to death, as some of its appendages tried to kill me as I was walking to the controls, walking by it. I'm never gonna forget that. I'm never gonna forget, I think it was Hydra that I fought in that gigantic bubble. The thing calling the Deep Ones that I killed by shocking it to death. The game is just filled with incredibly memorable scenes. It's just ep it's epic. It's epic and it... It takes place over such a wide range of environments. In such a way that I never... That I don't usually get to experience in games. And never would have expected. You know, it doesn't just take place in like one general area as many games do. You know, a lot of horror games, they take place in one general area, like, you know, Resident Evil, like a mansion. You know, one area. But in this case, it takes place freaking everywhere, from an asylum to Innsmouth, to, uh, to the sea, to a, a city under the water, to alternative dimensions. It's crazy. It goes everywhere and does all these crazy things I just never would have expected. You know, one time you think you're just going to be, like, you're escaping from Innsmouth. And then the next thing, you're picked up by the FBI, FBI, and they torture you, and then you're forced to go back into the Marsh Refinery, and then you come out, and then you end up assaulting Innsmouth when it's under martial law, and then you're going on a boat, and then you wash up on Devil's Reef, and it's just, it's insane. It's so interesting and so fascinating, the different places you get to go to. It's awesome. I love the, um, I love all the insanity effects. The fact that you look at crazy things and it makes you crazy and your view gets crazy distorted. And it's hard to look around and hear yourself breathing and talking to yourself and stuff like that. All the themes of insanity in this game, I love that. Really adds to the mood. I'm guessing unlike a lot of people, I actually like screen distortion effects. Things that mess up your vision, at least in horror games. Because I think the more you're kind of disabled, at least with a plausible reason for that happening. Not for, you know, if it just happens randomly with no... Vo no plausible reason, it's dumb. But if they can come up with a plausible reason to kind of disable you in some way, to hurt your ability to perceive things, to make it harder for you to 
kind of play, I think it actually improves the experience. Because when it comes to horror, the, the less you understand things, the more horrible things are. Right? Understanding is kind of the death of horror. As soon as you understand something, it's not really horrible. It's the things you don't see. It's the things you imagine. So when your view is all distorted, and you're not even sure if there's an enemy that you're seeing or if it's just everything going crazy, and you feel disoriented, that really adds to it. Disorientation and imagination. It's great. Uh, the gunplay is also, like I mentioned, very, very good. I love the fact that you don't get a gun for maybe the first thing third to a fourth of the game. It takes it takes you hours to get a gun. And it's only like an eight to ten hour game. I think that's really daring. Even though it is unfortunate that they gave you so many weapons and it turned into such an action game. The fact that they held off for so long was actually very daring. And like I said when I started, when I originally played this game, that was something I'd never experienced before. Pretty much everything I'd played had been like power fantasies, you know? Or it's just all about killing stuff and blowing stuff up, you know, doom and quake and whatnot. So to play a game that actually was daring enough and confident enough to not give you a weapon to take away control from the player, at least in the beginning. Unfortunately, it does, like I said, to give you too much control, too much guns. But just to do it in the beginning is daring and really interesting, and I like that. And even when you do get the weapons, the fact that you have no crosshair and no HUD is great. That's a kind of... It's a kind of design... Purity, almost, in a way. Like a design philosophy. Kind of like the hardcore survival sort of... Shooter feeling. That I just wouldn't ex... I just wouldn't expect from a game that came out in... Wait, when did this game come out again? Hold on, let me check the box. Copyright... Uh, 2006. For a game that came out in 2006... I just... I'm really surprised. Four, five, six, seven years ago. A game came out seven years ago that was daring enough to give you basically no HUD and no crosshair. I mean, my knowledge of games from seven years ago is not very strong because I was quite young then, but I don't think there were many games like that back then. So that's very cool. Let's see, anything else? Mm, I think that might be it. Alright, well, in summary, a game with a lot of flaws, overly scripted, mediocre graphics, technical issues, horrible design flaws. Yeah, lots of problems, but very interesting setting. Awesome set pieces. Wonderful gunplay. Incredibly memorable uh, scenes. And an interesting story. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, well, I hope everyone enjoyed my trip into nostalgia, into this classic that I've played many times before, and will probably replay again in many years. This is one of my favorite games of all time, before I started, and it still remains one of my favorite games of all time. I love it. It's a horribly flawed, beautiful mess. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. And remember, don't forget to start your fires to keep out the freezing cold winds.